Hey guys, the unsmooth criminal, and stop reading my mind! It's getting creepy! Come on! It's supposed to be a surprise for you guys! You guys aren't supposed to know what's happening next! First Ken Kaneki, and now you! Everybody, stop! But you know what time it is. <laughs> it's part four. <laughs> Give me a second. So, <laughs> we, <laughs> we skip a week. Toga, Ari, and Toga, Ari, Mina, and Izumi are all having fun at night. And Momo has joined in now. And she makes different contraptions to torture Izumi. <laughs> and <laughs> so it's the day of the USJ and Izumi's getting excited on the bus and Eri senses this and goes, no, 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 oh my god, god damn it. And Aizawa hears this and goes, uh, what's wrong? And she goes, we're gonna be attacked at the USJ. And he's like, come on, that was supposed to be a surprise. And Eri goes, I know you have the insane sensing ability of some horror creature, but... Can you at least tell us when we're about to get attacked? And because your masochistic side wants to get hit, you can at least tell us when you're getting horny. And she's just yelling this in the bus, and everybody's like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> and he's <laughs> like, fine, sorry. And Ari goes, it's fine. Don't do it again. Still gonna get punished tonight. He goes, okay. And he's smiling again. <laughs> so they get to the USJ, and I was like, okay. So the females go in, males stay out here with me. And everybody's like, why do the females go in? And he goes, remember the heroes versus villains? And they're like, yeah. He goes, Everybody that's a female has been affected by the fog, and she gave them the curse of immortality. Sadly, they're getting sadistic. And he looks at some of the girls who are just eyeing up Izumi, and he's like, and it's happening faster than I thought. And he was like, what? And the girls are like, wait, what? We're immortal? And Izumi goes, yeah. And you could beat me all night if you want. And that, and her saying that gets some of the girls hot and heavy. <laughs> gets some of the girls hot and heavy, and they're like, okay. And so all the girls walk in, every single one of them, and Izumi goes into horror mode, which is a new mode that she's started to use the last few times she's fought villains. Where she keeps her... Uh, Cheshire cat mask on, and she starts to laugh, and these black tentacles come out her back, and it starts to transform her from a Nico to a Slenderman kind of creature. And Izumi is laughing maniacally, and Eri slaps her upside the head. But this isn't just any normal slap. This is a a bullet powered slap. So she had a a device on her hand that whenever she slaps uh, Izumi, that shoots a bullet into her head, so it can calm her down. And Izumi's like, "What the hell was that for? You know, when it goes through my brain, it actually hurts, right?" And she goes, "I know. That's the one way I can calm you down." It's just true, true, true. Um, 
How about this? And Izumi goes into a uh, Freddy Krueger style mode where she brings out the blades on her fingers. Well, she doesn't bring out blades on her fingers. She has her claws grow to enormous sizes. And she's like, can I rip them apart now? And Eri goes, no, you cannot rip them apart. You can play a game with them, but they have to survive. And she goes, oh, I can play a game? And she's getting excited, and she goes, yeah, you can play a game. One game, that's it. And this dark fog starts leaking from her super quickly, and she's like, game, 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 game. And <laughs> Ari's like, oh, god damn it. And she yells over the sound of her just yelling, game, game, game. She yells, if any of them mentally lose it, I don't care about that, actually. If any of them die more than five times, no punishment. And Izumi straightens up going, game, game, game. Because she's scared because she normally kills them like 10, 20 times. <laughs> so <laughs> she puts up the white wipeout area and instead of a like five foot drop from the Big red balls that you see on the show Wipeout. It's a 500 foot drop. And it's only one big red ball. So if they mess up one time, they lose their life. If they mess up multiple times, they lose their life still. But that's besides the point. They have, instead of the Sucker Punch wall, it's the punji Stick wall. So it jets out a punji Stick every few seconds. <laughs> <laughs> And instead of the foam pit that is at the end, <laughs> it's a punji stick pit where they have to hit the button that's in midair. that's just floating in midair randomly while they're falling into a punji stick pit. <laughs> so <laughs> one of the villains recognizes what this is because he was one of the last villains that Jigsaw captured and he was the last villain that Jigsaw, Jigsaw captured and he saw this and was like, Oh, crap. And he walks up to Kuragiri because he sees the black fog. And he's like, I'm out. And he walks back through the portal. And Shigaraki is on the other side like, what are you doing? And he goes, uh, I'm not dealing with that. And he points at the portal and he goes, good luck. Hope you survive. And he walks out of the building. I don't care about my money. Just leave me out of this. And he walks to the police station and be like, the USJ is under attack. And all the police recognize him as the survivor of the game. And they go, how do you know? And he goes, there's another game being played. I almost walked in on it. I did some villainy when I got released from jail. Please arrest me. And he holds up his hands trying to be, or he holds up his knobs being like, I can't do anything. I've been working out and I have fake fists on. So... I can't do anything. Just arrest me already. I already did some criminal stuff. And they're like, okay. So he gets arrested because he just gave up. He's like, nope, nope, nope. I'm not doing that. Nope. I'd rather be arrested than deal with that. And the rest of the villains are like, what the hell is his problem? He's the strongest one out of all of us. And they're just extra thugs. And... Shigaraki walks through the portal, sees the black fire, and goes, Kurgiri, come with me. And he walks back through the portal. Kurgiri walks through the portal and says, Kurgiri, send in the no moon, shut the portal. And Kurgiri says, uh, Master. And he goes, That is Jigsaw. And he just says that. And Kurgiri is like, Okay, Master. And he shuts the portal and goes, uh, Master, I, couldn't you have killed Jigsaw? And he goes, with Jigsaw's abilities, and what I speculate his abilities, because he's not a man-child like in the normal ones. He's actually an adult in this one. Well, oh, semi-adult. He's 16. No, he's 17. He's not quite a man-child. And he says, if Jigsaw's abilities are what I think they are, uh, we can't fight her. Oh, God damn it, I yawned. 
And Kirkier's like, Master, what do you think her abilities are? And he says, from what I have heard from the last survivor, when he came in, he's absolutely terrified. And he's physically stronger. And his quirk was to obliterate anything he touched with his hands. But when he was in the building, like he told me when he first got here, and he said, if he if he saw Jigsaw, he's leaving. He he's not doing it. He's he if he saw Jigsaw again, he would know what she looked like. And he said, if he ever went through that again, he he wouldn't survive. He would kill himself right there and then. That's if he ever went through it. But apparently, it looks like she's trying to be a hero, so she's not killing anymore. Um, that's weird. And Kirk, he's like, okay, then what is her quirk? You haven't told me what her quirk is. And he goes, from the story you told me of it, he she has the same abilities as horror characters. So I can only guess that Slenderman, uh, Jigsaw, Freddy Krueger, all of a sudden someone appears, all of a sudden everybody in the uh, LOV hideout falls asleep. They're in their dream world. They're in their dream world. I fall asleep and they're still talking in the uh, dream world. Uh, they're all in the same dream and they're still talking, thinking that they're still awake. And he says that she has the abilities of Freddy Krueger, that if someone's asleep and they're dreaming, she can get into her dream in their dreams. And she appears behind him going, hmm, you're pretty smart for being a villain. And he looks back and sees the Freddy Krueger fingers and he's like, Oh, God, please don't tell me we fell asleep. And she goes, no, you didn't fall asleep. I knocked you out. And you're all dreaming now. So time for some torture. And this black fog just seeped into the portal just very slightly before Kurgiri fell asleep. So and she can go to wherever her black fog is. And she's just there to terrorize them and torture them like that. And it's now mm, 10, 20 ish minutes later. All the villains wake up screaming, and she goes, Okay, I didn't kill any of them physically, and bring them back. And Mina, being a little sadistic, a little more sadistic than Ari, goes, What do you mean you didn't kill any of them physically? And she goes, Oh, I mentally tortured them for 300 years. Uh,. I made them fight me for 300 years straight. Uh, I had all the damage dealt to me uh, become physical. And all of a sudden, they see her start being ripped apart. She, Her arm falls off. Her leg falls off. She's still floating, by the way. She has Slenderman's ability to float and teleport. And she's still floating. And she's like, uh, in three, two, one. And she busts one right in front of of them because of the pain. She's like, oh, she feels so good. <laughs> and all for one put a camera in the USA to see what's happening. And he saw her starting to fall apart. And he's like, what the hell is her quirk? And he saw her just liking it. She's feeling so much pain, but she's liking it. He's like, what the fuck is going on? So he uses one of his teleportation quirks to go behind her and he grabs her by the back of the head and tries taking her quirk. And he takes one of her quirks. He takes her mutation. And he gains wolf ears and a wolf tail. And she's like, the hell? You stole my ears and tail, asshole. And then she feels the pain from her basically uh, basically jeans being ripped apart and stuff being ripped out of her cells and she busts another one and she continues until the pain subsides she's like oh god do that again and she runs at uh, <laughs> one for all he's like what the fuck are you and, and so she starts fighting him and she's like hit me hard and he's like oh god I can't stop her when she's like this and Mia's like 
Um, we should leave. And 13 is, has been seeing this entire interaction. And she's like, what the fuck is going on? And because of her mask, she can easily uh, evade the um, uh, mist. But since the guy only has a breathing mask on in the water zone, he had he still gets affected by the with the eyes. So everybody was affected except for thirteen and the students that have been affected already by hers curse of mortality. Because she directed it to everybody who has ill will towards them. So she's currently fighting off one and I all might gets a call from Isaiah saying, um, I think All for One arrived, and he goes, What? I'm right. I'm getting there qu quickly. And he hangs up, and he's like, I was about to say, Izumi's taking care of it, but I'll have to wait. And All Might gets there, and he's about to break down the door, and Aizawa stops his quirk. And he goes, What the hell, Aizawa? He's in there. And he goes, Yes, but if you hear the moaning from inside the building, you'll know who's taking care of him. And he hears the the moaning, and he's like, oh. Oh! Uh, oh, oh, God. Uh, oh, oh, God. And everybody's, all the guys are hearing this be like, what the fuck is going on? And Mineta is perving out just constantly because he's hearing the moaning. And he keeps seeing the man-ass. He just keeps seeing the man-ass in front of him. And he can't stop seeing the man-ass. And he's like, oh, God, I just want to rip my eyes balls out. But go, oh, God damn, it sounds so good in there. And he's just saying this out loud, not caring about it. And he was like, um, OK, you're the worst person possible. And he's just seeing the man ass and thinking of bad images and continuing to see the man ass. And he's gotten so used to seeing the man ass that it's changed. It's changed for him to see his own ass. And he's like, what the fuck? What the fuck is this? And he just starts saying that and backing up. And everyone's like, what the hell just happened? And he goes, I don't know. The ass has changed. And they go, what? Um, we're going to have to ask her later. And so, after like 30-ish minutes, he finally walk, finally just stops trying to block and catches one of her punches and goes, you're too strange. And he gives her quirk back, so he loses the ears and the tail. And she gains her ears and tails back, tail back, and she feels the pain of the ears and tail growing. And she's like, <gasps> and he goes, I'm done trying to take your horror quirk. Um. He looks at Ari and goes, are you the same way as her? And she goes, no. But my quirk is now a curse, so you can't take it. And he asks, what do you mean a curse? And she says, her quirk can curse people. Blair Witch, Poltergeist. Yeah. And he goes, Oh, crap. Well, I was going to take some of your quirks, but since I can't, might as well take the guys. And she goes, oh, no, 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 no. You can't take theirs because they've also been cursed. And she goes, the fuck? And she goes, yeah. They've been cursed with ignorance. And he goes, uh, that's every man. And she goes, no, 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 no. <laughs> They've been cursed with so much ignorance that they won't even know when they like somebody. Like, they... It's love at first sight, and they wouldn't even know it. <laughs> and he goes, Oh, okay, um... Well, damn. That sucks. Uh, and Izumi uh, finally gets up from the pleasure she's feeling. He goes, I <sighs> By the way, you've now been cursed. And he goes, the hell? How? And she goes, this hair. 
is how I curse people. And she falls down again in heat again because she wants to continue the pleasure. <laughs> and she goes, you're now, oh God, immortal. Unless you take people's quirks. And she's getting lightheaded from how pleasurable it is. And she passes out with the feeling of pleasure and euphoria. And he goes, well then, um, have a good rest of the day. Um, uh, I'll see you guys later. Most likely. And they go, what do you mean? And he goes, oh, I have a foresight quirk. And yeah. I'll take my leave now. And he goes, and he disappears. And he goes, and he gets back to the uh, LOV hideout. And he he gets back and he yells, fuck! As loud as he can. And everybody wakes up and he's completely healed. He's completely and utterly healed. And I'll be right back. I'm just showing this for a quick few seconds. But this is what over uh, All for One looks like without the mask and all the scars. <laughs> so. I'm going to delete that. I, I don't want it on my phone. But. <laughs> I'm going to end it here. I just want to do the USJ. <laughs> And do the next little part. Because you guys are fucking guessing what's next. When someone guesses the right next chunk, I'm going to do it. So you guys have to guess in the comment what's happening next. But while that's happening, I'm going to do a female Limitless Jogo um, Sukuna um, uh, What If. So, talk to you guys later. Bye!